Hey, what is up guys, Engineer here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can fix the error 0xC0007B in any Windows like Windows 8, 7, Windows 10, even Windows XP I suppose. I think plenty of gamers will face this issue at least once in their gaming life. First of all, I'm gonna be showing you if I am getting the same error when I run any high ending game. I'm going to play GTF, I am going to run it. As you can see right in front of you it is giving an error the same error which we were talking about so how to fix it just go to the description of the video below and you have the link there go to the link and download a file which is a bunch of software collection which installs in a single click you have to download that file and extract it on your PC and just open that application it, it is nothing but a bunch of softwares that's all required to fix this issue there is no harm in that software list i don't know what is the reason for this error even i have all the graphic uh, properties and even the configurations needed for the game but still i am getting the error it is not the main problem here it, uh, i think the main reason for the error is some missing software that's all yes coming to the point go to the application and run it uh, run the application as administrator and click on yes button and as soon as you do that the extraction process begins and it may take a couple of minutes like 5 to 10 minutes it doesn't matter even uh, during this process you can see that I am getting the same error when I open that game and we shall see what happens when all the applications required applications uh, get installed successfully after that make sure you tick all the applications and press install button you have to tick all the applications there and as soon as you press install button the installation of individual applications begins after the installation begins each application will be installed individually and you have no work here except using your mouse to click ok cancel ok cancel that's all like some of the process may result in error like fail something else leave it it doesn't uh, make any difference here i'm repeating again you have no problem with this application this application is completely safe it is nothing but a whole, a whole bunch of softwares which are required for uh, the game to run or the uh, system for the compatibility of the game that's all it's not only for GTFI, it will applicable for almost all the games like Battlefield, Far Cry 4, Fallout 4, etc. Yes, the installation process is completed and I'm gonna be running the same game again and let's see what is the status now. As you can see there, I can play GTFI right in front of my screen now. Thank you for watching guys. If you have any questions regarding any of the processes, comment right below in the comment section and I will reply as soon as possible. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if this process works for you. Have a good day.